Hi everyone! I hope you got a chance to check out more about Sheva's video where she got to open up and see what's inside a papaya. If you didn't get a chance to look at that video, then you should pause this one and go check it out and then come back here so we can explore what's inside all of these different fruits. So, if you're here, you've watched more about Sheva's video and you've seen that fruits are all different. Some fruits are fruits that you can just bite right into. They have an edible peel. Whereas other fruits, you don't really want to bite into the outside of their peel. It's more of a protective layer for the fruit. All right, so let's check out our apple. I know more about Sheva showed you what was inside the apple. So let's cut one for us too. All right. Check it out. I'm going to be very careful with the tools that I'm using. And I'm just going to show you. I know you got to see before the star on the inside of the fruit that holds all of the seeds. Check it out. This is an apple seed. Apple trees grow in New Jersey. So we can save our apple seeds and we can try to grow them. Hmm. Let's see. Let's open up our orange. All right, so oranges have a peel that's not so tasty. Some people use the peel in recipes. Now, more about Cheva was talking about how some oranges have seeds and others don't. So I'm looking to see, and I don't see any seeds. I do see a teeny tiny one inside of this orange, but I'll let you see what the fruit looks like. So this is a very delicious looking orange. And the seed that I have is much too small to even see. Some fruits are made or they're, they're designed by farmers to grow without seeds so that they're easier to eat. So this was a seedless orange. Let's check it out. Hmm. Ooh, I have this little cherry tomato. Ooh, I see the seeds in this one. This one looks nice and juicy. Check out the inside of my cherry tomato. Do you see those teeny tiny seeds? I'll see if I can get one out for you. Tomatoes also grow in New Jersey, so you could save these seeds and dry them out and try to grow them in your garden. It's so teeny tiny. I'll try to find, where's my apple seed? Let's compare it to the apple seed. Oh my goodness, look at the difference. And the tomato seeds are covered in almost like a slime. Awesome. Hmm. What next? Mm. Let's open up the pepper. All right, this is a red bell pepper and red bell peppers are nice and sweet. You can also grow red bell peppers in your garden. Check this out. So this little area, if I lift it up, you'll see, whoa, check that out. I don't wanna scrape them off. Look at all of those seeds. They're falling off as I take it off. Look at all of those teeny tiny seeds. I'll try and scrape some off in my hand. Look at how many. I'm definitely going to save these for my garden. There's lots of seeds inside this pepper. It's interesting to see the difference in the number of seeds. So some seeds have a few. I'm sorry, some fruits have a few seeds like the apple. Some fruits are bred to have no seed, like this orange, although other oranges do have seeds. Some fruits and vegetables have tons of seeds. Now, just like also the cherry tomato, let's open up our banana. We have three fruits, four fruits left. All right, my banana is starting to go, so I'm going to see if I can get to where the seeds are. Hopefully, 
the fruit hasn't started to turn brown. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a good little spot. I'll break the banana so it's easier to see that inside this banana, in the center of the banana, are teeny tiny seeds all in a row. Mmm, this banana smells so sweet and delicious. I think these are the smallest seeds that we've found so far. All right. Can't wait to make some yummy salad with all of this fruit. All right, let's open up the kiwi. Kiwi has a peel that you can't eat. It's a little bit tougher. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful. This beautiful kiwi. And look, all of these little teeny tiny dots are black seeds. These seeds aren't quite as small as the bananas. They're almost the size, same size, size as a poppy seed, if you know what a poppy seed looks like. Sometimes you can get a bagel with poppy seeds. They're a little bit bigger than the banana seeds. All right. Now, my avocado, the fruit may have started to turn brown. It did a little bit, so it's not so good to eat. So I won't put this one in my salad. I'll cut off the most the biggest brown but I want you to take a look at the inside of this avocado and I'm gonna ooh, it's a little bit messy good thing I brought my towel I want to show you this big pit this big seed inside the avocado it only has one and it's very large Wow. This, I, I can also grow my avocados at home too. All right. I saved my favorite fruit for last because I'm used to eating this fruit. So I know that this fruit is very juicy. So I wanted to make sure that I saved it for last. Here we go. This is my mango. I love the way it smells. All right. Now I'm going to try to shave it down so that it's easier for you to see the inside. Ooh. Mm. Can't wait to eat this one. Now on the inside of this fruit, smelling delicious, is one, let's put this fruit to the side. giant, kind of like the avocado, a different shape, but only one and very large mango pits or a mango seed. And here it is. It's still covered in fruit. It's going to be hard for me to get right down to it because the fruit really gets stuck to the outside of this pit. But I kind of look at my towel. There we go. Get some of that outside fruit off of it. Pulp. And mm, it smells so delicious. And this is your mango seed or your mango pit. It's very hard. <laughs> so hard it knocks all the fruit off the table. Wow, we got into so many different types of fruits today. I hope that you can go at, into your refrigerator or your pantry at home and see if there's a fruit that you can cut into. Make sure you have a parent with you 